We're better than the Fahalia craft visiting our planet. In September of 1991, the space shuttle Discovery captured an unidentified object on film. What you're seeing now is actual footage shot by NASA cameras from that shuttle mission. Watch the top of your screen. Note the object that moves from right to left. Two mysterious flashes, and it makes an immediate 135 degree turn and accelerates. This is followed by a strange streak of light, which seems to narrowly miss the unknown object. This dramatic footage has been in dispute since it was shot. I studied it extensively over maybe a two-year period at least. University of Nebraska physicist Jack Kasher worked for nearly 10 years in the research and development of a Star Wars defense system for the upper atmosphere. His quantitative analysis of the NASA footage concludes that the UFO cannot be explained as a natural phenomenon. It's clearly above the atmosphere and air glow of the Earth. It maneuvers, it changes direction, it accelerates, and so the only thing really left is spacecraft. Others think this object is simply a small ice particle floating a few feet from the shuttle. Ice particles are a common waste product of the numerous shuttles that have orbited Earth. But Kasha is convinced NASA has recorded strong evidence of a large, intelligently controlled alien space vehicle. One of the very strange things that happens is that the main object actually stops and sits there for half a second before it accelerates back up to the right. Uh, an ice particle could not do that. If they're not ice particles, you don't have too many other options. They're not space junk, they're not satellites, they're not meteors because those objects don't change direction. There's never been anything that I've uh, experienced that gave me any cause to consider that there might be other life forms. Apollo 11 astronaut Buzz Aldrin, the second man to walk on the moon, has a different opinion. I mean, the sky is filled with moving objects here. Uh, do I think that they are, uh, that that is credible evidence? No way. You gotta have much more confirming it. That doesn't impress me very much. Not every former astronaut is a skeptical. Well, it is true that there's all sorts of things floating in space, but I don't think it should be dismissed out of hand. We need to take a more careful look at this type of evidence than we might otherwise. Dr. Edgar Mitchell also walked on the moon during the Apollo 14 mission. I'm quite open to looking at evidence and looking at data that purports to uh, speak of an extraterrestrial presence or some sort of space activity we're not familiar with and analyze it critically. Perhaps we have been visited. To me, I don't see anything in the video that reflects anything about UFO. Research scientist Keith Vaughn studies the upper atmosphere for NASA. He believes the unknown objects are common space debris, or waste products, most likely from the shuttle itself. And he has a theory to explain their movement. If you look at the video very carefully, you'll notice there's a flash of light. And that flash of light is probably the thruster engine on one of the shuttles. When you have a thrust effect, the thrusting of the gases move out, and that hits the object and makes the object move also. If you're a skeptic, it's easy to brush off. But if you're open-minded and you see this, there's something weird about it. Dr. Mark Carlotto has 20 years of experience conducting digital image processing for scientific research. These were not videos taken by someone in their backyard. These were taken aboard a U.S. spacecraft, so the integrity of the data cannot be questioned. NASA's explanation is that what we're looking at here are ice particles floating around the shuttle, but when you look at it more carefully, it doesn't make sense. If it was a thruster firing, when the thruster firing occurs, the orientation of the spacecraft should change very slightly. But we don't see any change in the apparent motion of the stars. So that indicates the attitude of the shuttle has not changed from the thruster firing. Dr. Kasha believes the UFO was miles from the shuttle, well out of range from a thruster firing, and that it was moving at an incredible speed. If the object is as close as 10 miles, it went from zero to 2,500 miles an hour in one second. And that's an acceleration of more than 100 Gs, which would kill a human pilot.
And the technology we're looking at is, is just quantum leaps beyond anything we have on the Earth. And what about the mysterious streak of light? Could it have been intentionally directed towards the unknown object? You have a streak that goes through where it had been. One thing that pops into everybody's mind is that this is some kind of a missile or weapon system. Kasha bases this theory on years of analytical comprehensive study of the video. Could the double flash of light be the firing of some kind of sophisticated weapon? And if so, from where was it fired? At the time this event took place, the shuttle was on a course over the west coast of Australia. Curiously, there is a large American military installation near Alice Springs in Central Australia. And it's the largest satellite intelligence gathering facility in the world. Although there is no proof, there is speculation that a Star Wars missile defense system is operational at this site. But for Buzz Aldrin, the explanation behind this footage is far less provocative. And I think we're often fooled by uh, optical illusions. I mean, it's even a term that's quite common to most people, optical illusion. What does it mean? Well, it means that there's an illusory thing that we pick up with our eyes that we can't quite explain. Illusion or not, astronaut Mitchell believes this UFO, like others before it, deserves serious study. There have been a large number of other anomalous type phenomena that have been associated with the UFO phenomenon that are not easily dismissed. This should be looked at and we should know what that is. Although NASA insists this footage is nothing unusual, after this mission, all live satellite feeds from shuttle cameras were canceled. While the debate continues over the shuttle discovery footage, a more recent mission is causing a whole new controversy. In December of 1996, a shuttle camera recorded this bizarre image above the Earth's atmosphere. And on the same mission, these three objects were captured on video by NASA cameras. They seem to orbit directly over a thunderstorm on Earth, moving independently of each other, yet closer together. And then, there's this startling occurrence. Dr. Kasher is eager to analyze this new space shuttle footage. And these three objects are moving with respect to each other, so they're not stars. And the cameraman is interested in them too. He's going to follow them, try to get a closer look. So we have some, some interesting, intriguing things that uh, I really don't understand. The most interesting thing to me is that little blob that seems to pop up from the clouds or whatever. It's got that little dark center and it's circular and it floats across and, and I'm just really not sure what it was. I, I would love to be able to explain what it is. I wish NASA, when interest is shown in something like this, would, would put people on it to, to investigate it thoroughly, not just to watch the video sit down and do a real rigorous job and show us the science and the calculations and try to really explain what some of these things are. Where do we come from? Why are we here? These are burning questions. This is perhaps a small step in finding out a little bit more about uh, how we fit into things. We need to make people aware that this UFO business is important and significant and worthy of study. And we need to get more mainstream scientists involved in it. I think that's very, very important.